Hello class, today we'll start with trust review. Um, in previous statics class, you have learned uh, how to solve problem as trust, and those knowledges will be continuously used in your later classes, strength materials, or any other um, structural analysis course you will be uh, taking on in the future. So it's very good for us to do a quick recap on, on trust. So here's an example on that. And you are asked to find uh, what's the force EF in member EF. So the first step to solve a trust problem is to find the reaction support. And for this problem, since A is a pin support, we'll have AX and AY. And E is a roller support, so that would be EY, okay? And uh, what would be the one equation to solve EY? That's right, we're gonna do moment about A. Do moment about A. Now let's take a look. So for this 15 kilonewton applied at B, the moment of arm is three, it's clockwise, so it's negative. For this 10 kilonewton, and the moment of arm will be 6, so clockwise, negative. And 5 kilonewton will be triple 3, right? For moment of arm, and the negative, since it's counterclockwise. For EY, and the moment of arm will be 3 plus 3, that would be 6. And it's counterclockwise, so that would be positive, that equal to 0. And by solving this equation, you will get EY as 25 kilonewton. Okay, so here's a little note for our video series. Um, and feel free to pause anytime you need it, especially when it's time for calculation, and uh, stop and check your answer, see if you get the same answer as me. And uh, um, however, in the recording, I will not uh, stop for the time. Okay. So once you find a UI, our goal for this problem is finding the force in member EF. So inevitably, you are going to cut member EF. So let's go ahead, cut our EF. Uh, we learned in trust there are two major methods. One is method of joints, one is what? Method of section. So uh, be aware you have flexibility to use either one and often I encourage you to find the easiest one that works for you. So for this problem, mass of section will be the choice. When you cut the section, you have left and right section. Which one should we use? If we were to use left section, we need to find reaction support AX and AY, which we didn't. However, if we use right section, you already have EY. That seems to be a good choice. So we're going to look at the left section, or the right section. Okay, so that's going to be our FBD number two. So our FBD number two will be, let's go ahead and draw it up. So this is going to be part of BC, this will be our part of BE, and if you were to extend them, they're going to meet at joint B. Then you also cut part of EF. If we're extended, that would be F right here, right below B. Okay, so that's our structure of the right section. Now let's go ahead and draw all the forces acting on it. So C, we have this 10 kilonewton. At D, we'll have this 5 kilonewton. At UY, you calculate it's going up as 25 kilonewton. Okay? Remember in trust, whenever you cut a member, you are going to have a force. So at BC, you have the liberty to assume which direction it will be. So here, if we assume BC is going to this direction, which means it's away, this arrow is away from the structure, that's the intention, right? So that's going to be BC. Again, for BE, it's going to be along the BE direction. You are guessing again, 
is going to away from the structure, so that's going to be intention B. For EF, it's going to be along the line of E and F, but here we're assuming it's going to be what? pointing towards the structure, so that would be compression EF. So that will be our FBD number two. I'll remember again, your goal is to find EF. So think about what would be the one equation to solve EF. That's right. So we're going to do moment about B. If we do moment about B, what do we have? So start with this, 10 kilonewton SC. 10 kilonewton times moment of arm, BC distance is 3. It's clockwise, so it's negative. Then we have 5 kilonewton times moment of arm will be 3 plus 3. That's times 6, and it's clockwise, negative. Then 25 at E, and the moment of arm rotating about B will be this horizontal distance, 3, and it's counter, so it will be positive. Now you have EF, correct? EF left. EF is not horizontal or vertical, it's slanted. So you have to decompose. And uh, where should we put apply this force at? Which point is this force applied at? You have choice. You can decide to be at E, uh, F. You can decide at E or anywhere between this line. So here, let's assume it's going to be applied at F. Because no matter where you decide to apply this force at, you're going to get the same results. So EF is going this way. So we're going to decompose to X direction and Y direction. Uh, in order to decompose, you either need to know the angle or geometry. So for this one, let's go back to this geometry here, EF. It's this triangle. And Vertical displacement is one meter here. And how about the horizontal? That'll be three. Okay. So knowing that information, we can go ahead to translate that here. So that's one, that's three. And how about hypotenuse? That's right, it would be square root of 10. So knowing that we can decompose this EF to X in the Y direction. So now let's take a look. For X direction would be what? 3 square root of 10 times EF you are solving. And we we'll have to times moment of arm. So what's the moment of arm for X direction force? That would be from B to F, the vertical distance. B to F, that would be 3 plus 1, that would be times 4. Now think about the direction. This is going to be X direction rotating about B, that's counter, so it will be plus. So done with X component, move to the Y component. Y component is this force here, but you realize this force was going through point B, so you are doing moment about B, so the moment of arm is zero, so that term is zero. That equals zero. All right, so in that situation, you go ahead, solve this problem. You will likely get EF as negative 3.95 kilonewton. All right, so negative means what? Which means our direction was not assumed right initially, which means the true direction is what? pointing instead of pointing towards to the structure it's going to pointing away from it if it's pointing away that's what that's tension that's our answer for this problem okay so that's a quick recap of a, a trust problem thank you so much and see you next time